Hello beautiful people of God, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, you are welcome. My people, this comment motivated this video. This comment inspired me to do this video. My last video on Mary, Mary Blaise's uh, dressing, I addressed lots of things. I'll uh, encourage you to go and watch that video before this one. I love what this commenter wrote. Whoever you are at user um, JYIPFC, yes, let me know, finish all that. I appreciate this comment a lot. This lady wrote, Marie is dressing appropriately and I accept and I agree to that. 100%. A lot of women have shown every part of their bodies to the world, so when they find a husband, every man in the world knows their intimate part already. Exactly, you are correct. If she was dressing otherwise, they would have said Moses is a man of God and his wife is exposing herself. You're making sense. I love this. Yes, Moses saw that quality in her. He did say she embodies Proverb. 31, so well. Go Moses and Marie. Exactly. We need more ladies like Marie. We need more women like Marie that can show the world that you can still look classy and you can dress modestly and still look classy. She is very classy. She handles herself well the way she carries herself. Her courage is what emulating. She embodies Christ-likeness. And I love that you mentioned Proverb 31. You know, we hear a lot, oh, you have to be a Proverb 31 woman. And many people don't know what it means to be a Proverb 31 woman. And I have to, you know, I was led to explain to you what it means to be a Proverb 31 woman, which many people are lacking these days. Many women are lacking this. And I would like to tell you, when you go to Proverbs 31, start from verse 10, you will see the wife of a noble character. They call her Proverbs 31 woman, but it is actually a wife of noble character. Let's read it. Proverbs 31, verse 10 to 31. It says, a wife of noble character, a wife of great character. Who can find? Nobody. It's, they are hard to find now. They say she's worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Remember, the commenter said that Moses Bliss said that his wife Marie embodies the character of Proverb 31 woman. Let's continue to read for you to understand where he was coming from. Because many don't understand what it means to be a wife of noble character. That is why some marriages are failing. You know, let me continue. From verse 11, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and walk with eager hands. Meaning the lady is hardworking. Marie is hardworking. She's a lawyer. She's a preacher of the word. She's taking care of her home. Listen. She is like a merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still nice. She provide, provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. Meaning she provides food for her family. She makes food for her family and even her helpers. She takes care of people helping her. She's not mean to people helping her. She's not mean to people assisting her. Yes, she considers a field and buys it. That means with the earnings she makes, she can afford to buy things. It says out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. Not really, you know, we don't plant vineyards now, but you can work with your hands. You have your business. Out of your earnings, you can buy 
assets. You can make investments. That's what he's trying to say with this modern world. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tax. She sees that her trading is profitable. Her business is working. Her work is prospering. Whatever she does prospers and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grabs the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. She helps the poor and the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes covering for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. That means she dresses well. Fine linen and purple. It doesn't mean she has to dress shabbishly. She dresses modestly in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate. When a woman carries herself very well, respects herself, her husband will be respected at the city gate, meaning people will respect her husband. People around them will respect her husband. When a woman dresses uh, provocatively, nobody will respect her husband, they will look at him as, ah, this is your woman that is showing everything. They will not respect her. Or if a woman behaves in a way that is not respectful, people will not respect her husband. All right. Her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them. That means she's prosperous. She works with her hands. And she supplies the merchants with sachets. She's clothed with strength and dignity. Very important. Strength and dignity makes a woman. You have to carry yourself with dignity. People around you know that you're a child of God by the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom. Be mindful of what you speak. Sometimes when I read my comment, I just laugh because I know that people dropping comments have not even watched the video and it shows lack of wisdom. How can you comment without watching the video? You first of all watch a video and then you comment. Don't go by the thumbnail. Don't go by the title. It shows lack of wisdom. So that is it. So a woman of noble character speaks with wisdom and faithful instructions is on her tongue. Think about it. Marie, please, is a teacher of the word. She's a preacher of the word. And many young people are looking up to her. So when you look at it, she embodies, just like her husband said, she embodies the life of Proverb 31 woman. That is a woman of noble character. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. No, no, no. A woman of noble character is not idle. No, no, no. She's busy. She takes care of her household. She takes care. She works with her hands. She can provide for herself. Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praises her. That is exactly what Moses Bliss did. Many women do, many women do noble things. But you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive. And beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done. And let her works bring her praise at the city gate. I love this. Charm. You know when people come with charm. Mm Mm-hmm. The one who told you to show you they are charming. And when they adorn themselves and think they look beautiful, it says that charm is deceptive. Beauty, you see beauty. Beauty is nothing. It is fleeting. It doesn't last. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Ask yourself, Are you a woman of noble character? If you are, give praise to God. If you're not, start working on it. I'll encourage you to listen to this video over and over again. Because I believe that you will learn one or two things. And Marie Weisburn 
I always call her by her maiden name, but she is Marie Bliss. Marie Bliss, continue to show this character so that people around you will learn. And this young generation, this women, young generation, young generation, this ladies of young generation will continue to learn from you. Continue to be a blessing to your generation. Continue to show the light of Christ wherever you go. Don't mind naysayers. They don't exist. Your focus is on God. And God will see you through. And God will continue to lift you, bless you. Your marriage is blessed. You guys will continue to shine as light to your generation. A woman who fears the Lord. She'll be honored. Thank you guys for watching to this point. If you're new to my channel, you are welcome. This is Clara's voice. What we do in this channel is to promote the gospel of Jesus. Is to promote uh, Christians. Is to promote music ministers and um, people of God in general. We show love on this channel. We walk by faith and not by sight. And we walk in love. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.